after the game against Cheltenham. A lot of positives, I thought. How did you see the game going today? Um, yeah, I thought, uh, first half, we weren't where we needed to be. Um, second half, really pleased. Um, I thought that's the best 45 we've we've put together of the pre-season so far and feels like the lads are starting to get what we're working on, which is, you know, like I said, half-time, a bit frustrated, um, but end of the game, pleased with that second half performance. A lot of desire, a lot of commitment in, in centre field. If you weren't in possession, you went to try and chase it down. Yeah, I think it's some of the boys we brought in, you've seen that with some of the lads that are obviously um, competing out there. And it was nice to see, again, a, a friendly game, but it felt like a, a really competitive match. And there were a few tackles flying in. And I think it's important that you, you don't get caught up in it, just being they have the ball, we have the ball, and try and make it as competitive as you possibly can to replicate what we're coming up against. So, yeah, I was, like I said, really pleased with the second half. How pleased were you to be playing on, on such a good surface? I've just said that. I've just, Ben's done such a fantastic job. The pitch looks immaculate. Um, you know he's had he's had a difficult time obviously trying to get it back from the the concert we had here, but what he's done is just superb. Um, and I just want to say a massive thanks to him because he's been class ever since I've come in in terms of communication that we've had in terms of maybe how I want the pitch to play. Um, so he goes into that sort of detail, and it's yeah. And well, you know me, I love a bit of detail. So um, he's uh, he's got it in great condition. I thought he played really well today. Obviously, you, you gave as much game time as you could to a number of the players. Um, would that mean there'd be a change, perhaps, at Ludlow? Yeah, you, you, know, you look at the Friday, Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday, you know, four games in a short space of time in eight days. So it's important that we, you know, you just saw a few lads getting 90s, a few lads getting sort of 70 minutes tonight. So we can, we can mix it up, hopefully, for the Ludlow game and, and ensure that we're balancing the minutes around the squad. As far as the, the team shape is concerned, you use three at the back again with two wing backs. Stop giving stuff away, will you? Yeah, yeah no, we we we, we played <laughs> the three at the back, and uh, you know you look at the three at the back that we've got, and like I said to you when we we're at Biddeford, it's trying to ensure that we're playing to our players' strengths, um, uh, and you look at what we've got in front of that, and it's it is quite exciting. If we can keep everybody fit, then there's going to be competition all over the park. And you partnered uh, Rowan Lybird with Reece Steich. How did you feel that went tonight? I thought it was coming on. I thought there was little glimpses in the, at the weekend, but I thought, again, there was a good understanding there. and um, A couple of times, a little bit of combination play. So, yeah, it's um, work in progress, but we're getting there. I thought Reece took his, his goal well, and there was an excellent shot in the second half. Yeah, just, we just chatted chat about that. It's, uh, it's probably like a couple of inches away, about nestling in that top corner. So it was, a, it was a superb strike from about 35 yards out on the end. Angle, I think, as I walked in, I was sort of um, saying it was like Roberto Carlos, but obviously with the right foot. So he, uh, he struck that one well, um, and I just said that m- maybe we need to, to have a referee that we employ to come in and have an argument with him before we go out, because he seems to get a bit between his teeth once he's had a little <laughs> argument with a ref. So um, we have to obviously control him there, but you know, you saw what he can give. You know, he started um, having a bit of swagger, really, in terms of how he played and. Um, I think he'd run himself into the ground by the time we took him off after 70 minutes. I thought Simeon Meyer had a, a very good controlling uh, influence in the, in the centre field. Is, is that the sort of role that you're expecting from him? I think if you look at um, Simeon and Caney in there, um, what they give us is obviously lots of legs they can get around the park, but lots of quality as well. Break up play, um, play forward, go and support. Um, and yeah, the quality that they they provide us in those central areas has, has been excellent so far. A couple of players on, on the injured front, what's the, what's the update there? Yeah, so as soon as Popey was feeling uh, his groin, I just didn't want to risk it and just took him straight off. Likewise with Simeon, it was only a kick, but I thought I'm just, I just don't want to risk anything at this stage. You know, It's all well and good you know, getting results, if you like, pre-season, but it's all about preparing them for the first game of the season. So the last thing we want is anybody to be out of contention for selection for that first weekend, especially with so many games that we've already mentioned in August. So, obviously, Popey will have a look tomorrow night when we're in for training. Um, obviously, the injured ones that you kind of know about, Simeon will be fine. It was just a kick. And then Tomo and Evans, Tommy O'Sullivan, um, hopefully shouldn't be too far away. Um, so, yeah, so fingers crossed. I think I'm right in saying um, uh, Elliot Richards was here as well. Yeah, yeah. So he was, he was doing his rehab and his work with the... Uh, the game ready machine that he had in the change room. So, uh, Danny Greenslade was here as well. Um, so again, you know, um, trying to get him back as fit as you know as quickly as we possibly can. What sort of time scale is is involved for them to get? I think it's really difficult to say. You know, I'd like to say 
you know, I'd like to give you a time scale, but I don't want to don't want to jinx it. If I'm being honest, so it's nothing immediate. Um, so we'll just have to kind of keep working with them and and obviously see how they progress. Um, but yeah, the sooner the better, really. Thanks for your time. Cheers, guys. And uh, Kieran <coughs> played at football. You're too hot now, aren't you, with that coat on? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that just a change of system with Kieran playing fullback rather than midfield? Oh, I, you know, Kieran, you've seen how, I've, uh, how I utilised him last year as well. You know, if he wasn't playing fullback, he was playing centre mid for me. So um, he's, you know, what you're going to get from Kieran. You know, it's as simple as that. He's going to win his 50 50, he's going to be tenacious, he's going to give you absolutely everything he's got. And whatever position I put him in, he always does that. So. Um, Obviously, he changed positions a couple of times with a few little niggles that we had today. Um, but I know he can play in both, um, and I know he gives us options all around the park.